Hi, how you doing? I've been watching uh, BBC Parliament and um, the House of Lords debate on um, Brexit. <laughs> yep, Brexit. I said the B word. Sorry. And uh, Lord Wallace of Saltaire. Oh. <laughs> um, he said something that um, was quite funny. And probably true. And uh, he thinks that Boris Johnson is uh, living in another universe. Which, um, yeah, I'm in complete agreement with him. Take a look at this. Pause on Fusion Research. Boris Johnson this morning spoke about the jet come research campus as a British asset. But there's a reason why it's called the Joint European tours, and it's not clear yet if we are planning to shoulder the full cost and staffing ourselves. It's in the Henley constituency, and it has a European school. He was deliberately misleading his audience. But the Prime Minister Rio is not a details man. He shows his eccentric and limited grasp of the details of trade policy in a speech in New York last week to a catch on television, where he took as his prime examples of UK exports that would benefit from deregulated access to the US market, four items, socks, cauliflower, haggis, and lamb. The minister must be familiar with the research behind this statement. Can he therefore tell us what proportion of UK exports is currently composed of cauliflowers? What the scale of expansion in domestic cauliflower production is envisaged, and how easy it will be to supply cauliflowers to California while they are still fresh? <laughs> I had understood that the UK is at present a net importer of cauliflowers and produces them for only one month a year. But the Prime Minister must understand the sector much better than I do, since he placed more emphasis on that than on high technology, creative industries or services. The Prime Minister, in his update last week, accused Parliament of living in a fantasy world. I see Mr Johnson and the noble Lord Lord Callan as living in an alternative universe. They and their allies told us three years ago that negotiations with the EU would be quick and easy. They also said the Eurozone was about to collapse, that staying within the EU would leave us shackled to a corpse, and that the EU was a super state over which we had no influence. Now, Dominic Cummings says that leaving without a deal will be a walk in the park. Mr. Johnson says, let's get it finished, as if there will be nothing more to negotiate after October the 31st and no more financial contribution to shared European programmes. Several speeches in this debate have clarified that Britain's future relationship with the EU remains to be negotiated in principle and in detail. 